Hi Sai. Hi. This question was asked in one of my interviews. I'm really confused with this question. Can you explain me? 99% of the developers will fail to answer this question. They will either say that the output has 0 and 1 or 1 and 1. But the output will be 2 and 2, which will be printed after 1 second. If you carefully observe here, we are declaring the variable by using var keyword. Whenever we declare a variable by using var keyword in JavaScript, JavaScript will move this particular variable to top of its scope and it will be initialized with the value of 0. Now, as this variable is declared by using var keyword, this is shared across all the iterations of this for loop, means 0th iteration and the first iteration of this for loop. If we are declaring by using let keyword, it will not be shared across all the iterations. As we are declaring by using var keyword, it will be shared across all the iterations of this for loop. During the initial iteration of this for loop, JavaScript engine will encounter this set timeout. But the set timeout will execute only after 1 second. Until then, where it will wait? It will wait in the task queue. So this set timeout will wait until 1 second here. During this 1 second, JavaScript will continue its execution. So JavaScript will move to the first iteration now. So what is the value of i here? It will be incremented and it will become 1 here. So the value of i will be 1 and it will encounter the set timeout again. It will move this set timeout to this task queue. Now the JavaScript engine will increase this i value. So what is the value of i? It will become 2. So JavaScript engine will check i is less than array dot length which is 2. It is not. This condition fails here. Due to this, it will not go inside this for loop. Remember this very carefully. What is the value of i here? It will still be 2 because even though it is not going inside this for loop, its value has already been incremented. So the current value of i will be 2 here. Now, after 1 second, the JavaScript engine will execute this set timeouts. Now, due to the closers concept, even though the set timeouts are executed after this for loop has been completed, it will still maintain or still get the value of this i. So the, what is the value of i here? It will be 2. As it is shared across all the iterations, 2 will be printed across all the iterations now. Hi, where can I get all these practical interview questions and answers? You can get all these interview questions from the link in my bio.